Nice, nice, nice. All right. Beautiful. Carlos, nice fish. Thank you, sir. You, Thank gorgeous you. fish. All right, how'd you catch it? Leadhead squid. Pound test? 30 pound test, nine foot jig stick. Fluorocarbon? Opsin. All right, hey. Nice Danny Cadota fishing on a Friedman Adventures trip on board the Apollo just put on a beautiful halibut, gorgeous fish fishing, 25 pound fluorocarbon, a half ounce slagger, a 2 0 hook with live squid. They had to walk this big guy back to the stern. Nice flat fish! Danny Cadota! See, even the blind squirrel can find an acorn. <laughs> nice going, Danny, beautiful fish. <laughs> Feels good. On a sardine, yep. correct? Yep. How a long a soak? Uh, about a minute to a, maybe a minute and a half. What pound Water test? Soak, 25. Floral? Yep. I'll Size best. hook? Uh, two. Oh, uh, two. Oh. Two. All right. That's a big forky, man. Ah. Oh. 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 Whoa. A nice fish. Yeah, good job, Travis. Thank you. Woo. Put the over under at 32. I'm betting over. What do we got? Oh! You did ball Travis. Thank you. This moray eel was recently caught on a Freedman Adventures trip on board the Apollo at a 22nd Street landing in San Pedro. As it hit the deck, it balled up, only to unravel itself, unleashing the hook in its jaw and free to escape through the scupper. These creatures have extremely poor eyesight and use their keen sense of smell to hunt their prey. Really nice meeting this interesting creature up close and personal. Hey, good morning, my friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California. It is a gorgeous Saturday morning, and as you could see by the lead-in, we had a great trip on board the Apollo Freedman Adventures on the Apollo out of 22nd Street Landing, fishing Clemente and Catalina. I'll have more on that. How about a 50-pound yellowtail on the new sea for the Thunderbird with a great day at San Clemente up there in the 40s on the yellowtail. Great day for my friend over there, Jeff Marklin and the guys that were lucky enough to be on board. And of course, there's still some halibut being taken, good rock fishing all around. We've got the nighttime tuna bite. You know what time it is, my friend. It is time for the morning briefing. Good Saturday morning. Oh my God, is that good? And is it good to be back with you live once again? Of course, I had to tape a couple of episodes, not realizing that we had Wi-Fi on board the Apollo and I would be able to send you all of those shorts and all of the good times we were having. It was truly remarkable. We hit 8,000 subscribers while we were on the boat. And I got to tell you, our stats are going up, 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 about a quarter of a million views in the last 28 days, thanks to you. Over 13,000 hours of content consumed the last 28 days, all thanks to you. And now we're starting to head up to about 800 new subscribers every single 28 days. Wow. I don't know what's going on, but I know who I have to thank, and that's all of you. And what a great atmosphere it was down at 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro. Guys coming in from trips, guys getting ready to go out, lots of hugs, lots of fun. It was truly a remarkable trip. Before I jump into what happened in San Diego last night, don't forget, hit that like button. It means a lot to us. And also subscribe to the channel, as so many of you are doing every single day. And also, if you get a chance, share one of these videos. It makes such a difference to us here at Friedman Adventures. It's great to be with you. And let's start out with a report on what's going on down in San Diego. Then I'll get you caught up on our trip and some other great stuff that's going on in San Diego. Now I'm principally talking about offshore bluefin tuna fishing. It remains very frustrating, very, very frustrating. At the same time, you can see that it's going to go off at some point in time and it's going to be an immense bluefin tuna explosion. I know that doesn't do much for those of you who have experienced some really slow fishing, and I know you have. Other guys on those slow trips have gone home and they are jumping up and down because they caught the fish of a lifetime. And that's pretty much the story right now. Big fish, very few of them, 
very, very frustrating. From sundown to sunrise, which took place just an hour ago or so, there was an extremely good signal on the bluefin tuna for the boys that fish. And I talked to a lot of them that fished that bite last night, and they all had one common thing. Phil, great signal, seeing a lot, big fish, but so frustrating. They don't want to bite. And that is the situation right now on that bluefin tuna bite in San Diego. And of course, that light switch can go boom up and be on the bite like in a matter of hours. It could go off today, and we're hoping it's going to do that. Now, having said all of this, you still have to go prepared. And right now, there's so many fish up over 100, some up over 200, that you definitely need that two-speed reel with 100 to 130 pounds. And the lures at night are going to vary from 300 grams. You can fish that weight all the way up to 420 like that. We're going to have some really lovely weather this weekend, and hopefully that'll kick things into gear. We're on the moon, big bright full moon, Grunion on the beaches. I mean, there's all kinds of phenomenons, natural phenomenons colliding right now, and hopefully one of those phenomenons is going to kick that bluefin tuna into a more biting mood. We got our fingers crossed on that one. Also, during the daytime, you get a lot of sinker rig fish. I mean, the ones that are caught are caught on the sinker rig, and that 60 to 80 pound test. Fluorocarbon is always best of all. We like www.opsinusa.com. That'll make a big difference to your success. And once again, folks, bring something with 30 to 40 pound in case you happen to run into a kelp with some yellows on it. There's been fewer yellows like that recently, but we do see some more kelps holding up in this neck of the woods, LA Orange County area. And we've got a lot of boats out bumping around, so hopefully things are going to head in the right direction. So there you have it. It's very frustrating in San Diego. I'll get back to the local bite down there where we had that 50-pound yellowtail on the local scene in just a moment. But let's now move up and let's talk about our two-day trip. Wow, what a magnificent trip because of the people and the crew. I had so much fun on that trip. Most of it was because I got to meet you guys who are on board. What an extraordinarily talented group of anglers, number one. And number two, a giving group of anglers. I mean, most of what went on when we got in last night up in the Freeman Adventures YouTube studio at 22nd Street Landing was, hey, did you get enough fish? People asking, do you want a piece of my sea bass? Do you want a piece of my yellowtail? It went on and on and on like that. Man, thank you for being who you are and making that trip so special. Our first day, we spent at San Clemente Island. We picked away at the sheep's head and rockfish and whitefish and all of that, and everybody got plenty of meat. That was a lot of fun, and of course, the camaraderie on board, the great crew, Greg O.B. Mako, the captain. Him and I had a lot of fun together, as did everybody else. People were coming up to me saying, you know, the captain, he's a really nice man. Bob Gifford said that to me. Bob said he was fishing up in the bow, and Greg came up to him and says, hey, you should move back in the stern. Don't be intimidated. Come on, I'll help you. I'll show you how to do it. And so everybody was really impressed with that. And <clears throat> we got flashed on a few yellows. I think we had four yellows on our trip, including one yellowtail caught yesterday at Catalina Island. And what a gorgeous fish for a truly great guy, a nice guy. And that's Travis Bright. Travis had a 33-pound forky at Catalina Island. Man, when I saw that thing come up to Gaff, I was looking at it going, that is a freaking Guadalupe Island looking type of forky to me. And that was a gorgeous fish. I'm so happy for Travis. That was a really great catch. And then last night, I shouldn't say last night, but yesterday afternoon, we really had a good signal on sea bass. We came into a part of Catalina Island and had four hookups immediately. Carlos Mosquera, another fabulous guy who said he was calling 976 tuna when I was over there. And he said he was, you know, a kid calling in and couldn't wait to get the reports. And then we finally got to meet, and that was magical for yours truly. Super great guy, really good fisherman. And he ends up with a white sea bass that easily was over 30 pounds. And of course, come on, Danny Cadota. I mean, Danny does it every single time. He put on another clinic. He missed on the white sea bass. I was very disappointed, but he had a yellowtail. He had a halibut that had to be 25 pounds. Gorgeous catch. And Danny's so great about sharing information. I know that Noli was on the trip, and Noli came up to me and he goes, man, just sitting in the galley and talking to Danny is worth the price of admission 
for me. So, Noli, great job. And I'm not mentioning everybody's names because, uh, you know, it's only a half-hour show or whatever this is. But thanks again, everybody. That was really, really great. So we end up with, um, I think, four yellows, a sea bass, all the rockfish you could want. And uh, what else do we have? Uh, four yellows. And, uh, boy, I'm starting to repeat myself, aren't I? How many halibut? I think three halibut, something like that. Anyway, good trip. Had a lot of fun. No question about it. Boats that were fishing another island. San Nicholas, I think the cat's out of the bag. The Freedom was out there. They've had some really wonderful trips here recently. 34 guys with 12 halibut, and they had a 35-pound forky. That's a big, beautiful yellowtail. No question about it. Other guys up there having some good catches. I know on the Pride, I think they ended up with um, 30-something halibut. I was talking to Sonar last night at the docks. Uh, 30 halibut all the rockfish you could want, a ton of sheep's head, another great pride trip. Those guys are all over it on a regular basis. Thunderbird at San Clemente Island, they had some great fishing. I even got some video of Goofy, the galley cook, on board the Thunderbird, getting one gaffed up in the bow and seeing that fish come on board the Thunderbird from afar. But they ended up with 46 yellowtail on the Thunderbird. San Clemente Island starting to come together. 91 sheep said tons of other rockfish, and it was a really, truly great trip. No question about that. The pursuit at Catalina Island with a signal, three yellowtail, eight halibut. They're going to be all over the white sea bass here very, very soon. I love the signal we saw there. That is ready to go, and the moon phase is perfect for that right now, coming off the moon also. So we'll hit the full moon. Sometimes that's a little bit weird. But three days before, I love that time period. Tucker McCombs, Endeavor, teaching us all about that. And then three days after, we're in a time period where you might see an explosion of sea bass at Catalina Island. Those sea bass on the dropper loop sometimes. And then when you get into the real shallows, you want to go to a lead head and squid. That works really, really well. Huge yellowtail on the new C4 yesterday. They had two and a good bass bite, calico bass bite. And one of those yellows, 50-pound gorgeous fish on the new Seaforth half-day boat, 50-pound yellowtail. That does not happen every single day. That is a nice hit up and down the coast. Uh, guys are picking away at the rockfish, doing pretty well on that in most cases. Mauricio Lopez checked in with me from Dana War Sword Fishing. His dad, Mr. Lopez, buenos dias. Um, I've got to tell you that he listens every single day. Mauricio is a captain down there at Dana Wharf. And I want to say to Senor Lopez, mil gracias por todo. And, of course, there has been good rock fishing, sculpin fishing here, right out where I'm looking right now. We had Marina del Rey with a good rock fish bite, nine halibut. City of Long Beach had sculpin and rock fish. Monte Carlo saw the bass and the barracuda kind of kick up, waiting for that water temperature to warm up just a little bit more, and things will get going. Mirage up there in the Channel Islands, eight halibut. Aloha Spirit with 15 guys, 14 halibut, two white sea bass. An incredible day recently on board the Endeavor out of Ventura Harbor sport fishing. I mean, all you got to do is look at the deck of the boat, and you can see what they had. They just wiped out the sea bass and halibut with this nice weather. Look out. That is going to happen more and more and more. All right, and don't forget, Ventura Harbor Sword Fishing, 805-676-3474. Uh, they uh, fish kids, fish for free on Sundays on board. The Californian, if you're a paid adult, you can bring a kid 12 years and have some fun with that. On my way back in last night, I saw some great people jumping on board the Apollo Cameron. Like a 10-year-old, 12-year-old, I'm going to screw that up, 13-year-old kid was there. So we presented him with some Daiwa swag and a hat from Big Fish Bait and Tackle in Seal Beach. And it was nice to meet that group and hope they're doing well on the Apollo right now. And Frank, he came down last night. He came all the way down to the landing to bring us more clothing for our Mexico endeavors. We're taking more and more stuff to Mexico. We're going to put a hold on that for a little while, but we have medical supplies and a lot more clothing. And Frank, I told you last night you were an angel and you truly are. That means a lot to me. And it means more importantly to the people south of the border who have nothing at all, some of them. It means so much that you took the time to do that. All right, my friends, what can I tell you? Huh? 
I mean, life is great. It's a beautiful day at the, on the water here. We are truly blessed. I can't thank everybody who was on board that two-day trip on the Apollo for the great times and great fun. I'll run a few more shorts and maybe even repeat some just so we can languish in it one more time. And, of course, I'll keep you up to date all day long here today and throughout the weekend. Good to be back with you. Always a pleasure, and I can't wait, and I hope to see you really, really soon. Thanks, my friends. Have a great day. Got it. <laughs> Woo! Nice, nice, nice. All right. Beautiful. Carlos, nice fish. Thank you, sir. Gorgeous Thank you, fish. All right. How'd you catch it? Leadhead squid. Pound test? 30 pound test, nine foot jig stick. Fluorocarbon? Opson. All right. Hey. Nice Danny Cadota fishing on a Friedman Adventures trip on board the Apollo just put on a beautiful halibut, gorgeous fish fishing, 25 pound fluorocarbon, a half ounce slagger, a 2 0 hook with live squid. They had to walk this big guy back to the stern. Nice flat fish! Danny Cadota! See, even the blind squirrel can find an acorn. <laughs> nice going, Danny, beautiful fish. It <laughs> feels good. On a sardine, yep. correct? Yep. How a long a soak? Uh, about a minute to a, maybe a minute and a half. What pound long test? Soak, 25. Floral? Yep. I'll Size pass. hook? Uh, two. Oh, uh, two oh. Two oh. All right. It's a big forky, man. Ah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Whoa. Yeah, really? yeah, nice fish. Yeah, good job, Travis. Thank you. Woo. Put the over under at 32. I'm betting over. What do we got? Oh! You did ball Travis. Thank you. Let's head on down to Point Loma Sport Fishing in San Diego and look at the Independence and their fine catch. Lots of big yellowtail. The bluefin tuna bite remains finicky, but the guys are catching some big forky, some bluefin, as well as some other species. And the American angler unloading a nice catch also, as you can see, including this rare and very interesting oil fish. You don't see that every single day. Friedman Adventures with the very latest for you. Thanks for being with us. This moray eel was recently caught on a Friedman Adventures trip on board the Apollo at a 22nd Street landing in San Pedro. As it hit the deck, it balled up only to unravel itself, unleashing the hook in its jaw and free to escape through the scupper. These creatures have extremely poor eyesight and use their keen sense of smell to hunt their prey. Really nice meeting this interesting creature up close and personal and kelp because you're basically going to kind of just see i'm like so i'm like that uh -huh. and i'm not bouncing it where i'm bouncing the hook out yeah and then you kind of wind down okay sometimes if it's just the kelp it'll saw through the kelp okay you know and pull it out i don't know if you're like in the rock or not but see if Good morning, everybody. We are at San Clemente Island on a Friedman Adventures trip on board the Apollo. And we've had some outstanding fishing. I just thought I'd share a little bit of that with you. We've had some yellows bouncing around the boat. And who would you know would catch a yellowtail? Danny Cadota. He put on a nice yellow just a while ago. And we've had some really outstanding fishing with all kinds of sheep's head and white fish and good calico bass fishing. It's been good. I just want to get you up to date. I'll show you some of that right now and then I'll keep you in touch throughout the day. Wish you were here. We have an extraordinarily great group with us. Really nice people, capable fishermen, and we're having a really great time. We'll see you a little bit later. Stay tuned. Check out some of the fish we've been catching. Yeah, first year, first time all year apparently to the captain. I know. I can't believe the captain all the time though. <laughs> catching another yeah, fish. Nice one, Matt. We just got flashed by the yellows, and we got the boys up here in the bow throwing the iron. Now Carlos and Paul, they are getting rather serious about this. All right. Yellow tail! Woohoo! Nice going, Danny. Good job, Danny. Yeah, thank you, Phil. Love it. What do you think we bring you for, man? Yeah, well... Oh, man. Nice fit. Beautiful. Nice. 
beautiful. Nice, nice. Matt, good job. Beautiful fish. Woo. Nice one. Good job, Travis. Nice one, guy. Oh, I can tell by the way you pull on a fish, you know what you're doing. Nice fish, boys. Ah. Oh, another biter right there, too. Sounds like new last. I mean, nice fish. Nice one. Good job, Travis. Thank you. Just wanted to give you a quick update from San Clemente Island here on board the Apollo, where the crew is fantastic. Ricky is great in the galley, and we are having a spectacular time. The weather, ocean surface is nice. Not much wind here at Clemente. It is raining a little bit, but the fish are nibbling. We've got all kinds of critters. Thanks again for checking in. I'll have more for you as our trip goes on. We're not even to noontime here on the first of a two-day trip.